Hey guys, welcome back. You're here live with Clayton Oscar. Now, the one thing I love about my talk show is that I get to meet so many talented people. And it makes me so happy. Because the thing about her is that she's always been drawn towards the genre of uh, drama and romance. And she's always tend to play a lot of intense characters. But one of the reasons I'm calling her uh, tonight is because of her upcoming film. She's actually... Uh, gonna be in the new Mission Impossible 6 Fallout, which is huge for her because this is a big step and this is the first time she's gonna be in an action film right alongside the famous, the legend, Tom Cruise. So without further ado, here is Victoria Wellington. Hi! Hi, thank you so much for having me. It's, it's a pleasure being here. I'm so excited for this interview. You know, I'm so happy that you're on my show right now because I've been talking about you all day every day and how excited I've been of having you tonight thank you. so so just again I wanted to thank you for coming on my show now one thing I wanted to ask you is that what you're only what 26 yes, and you have so many achievements I don't understand how you're doing this but one thing I love about you is that you're so hard-working mm-hmm. now where do you get that drive that motivation from of just constantly working constantly evolving and just wanting more and more success. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of it is rooted from my parents. Uh, so they're the ones that put me into acting school at a very young age. I think it was about five or six when they kind of pushed me into dancing, things like dancing, and they put me into sports and into the, and into acting classes. So a lot of what I do and a lot of the success that has been in, implemented into my head has been because of my parents, and I want to succeed because of them. And also another thing is that <clears throat> I have so much influence on other people, and I want to be a positive role model for other other females or other yeah other females to do the same things that's a beautiful answer and um it's incredible that you mention your parents because nowadays what happens is that many of the times when people you know go into fame and become successful they always forget about where it all started they always forget about who helped them out who gave them uh that push to you know work harder and it's always been your parents and it's just incredible that you're you're mentioning them. <laughs> Another thing that I like that you said is that you have so much influence and you want to be a role model. Being a role model at such a young age, you're targeting obviously the youth, your the youth audience. And right now we have such a big uh, number of teenagers, and they're always you know constantly on social media, and they know probably more than anybody else um, because they have so much access to so many things. And especially what you're doing uh, with all the work that you're putting out is just, it's, it's great for them to see how people at, even at such a young age can achieve so much. Um, so uh, what are some of the challenges that you faced being alongside such iconic and legendary actors such as Tom Hanks in his film Pathways and also um, Paul Giamatti in Rolling Stone? Um, Well, I wouldn't really say it's a challenge other than, you know, trying not to be fathomed. Every time, every single time I see, especially Tom Hanks or Paul Giamatti, especially on set, you know, I start sweating. It's crazy to think that I'm able to work with my role models like almost every day. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy to think about. And I think, but although one of the challenges I would say is that trying to, again, deal with the fact that I have such a big influence. And whatever image I have, it will be reflected. And it will be shown kind of like on social media. So I have to make sure that the reputation that I have is is good. So is being in showbiz, um, was that like something you've always wanted to do since a very young age? Or is that something you gradually started liking as, you know, you grew up, you grew older, and you started kind of seeing things at a larger scale. I think I definitely began falling in love with acting, especially when I was like 10 or 11, because that's when I started being involved in school plays, and that's when I started doing like town plays in my in like my town back home. So I think it really sparked my love for it, because I loved performing in front of people, and I loved kind of showing this type of artwork, you know? So, uh, I know, you know, where you're not far away from your big night, the Mission Impossible 6 premiere. Oh my God, woo! Woo, exciting. Yeah, it's, it really is exciting because what, we've been following this franchise for such a long time now. 
Um, I th- what? It's been going on since 1998. I remember yeah. that's when the first Mission Impossible came out. And being a part of this franchise is such a big deal, and I'm pretty sure for you too. But at the same time, I know that it's not, you know, in your comfort zone, especially action sequences and stuff like that. And you're acting alongside Tom Cruise, who's very involved in doing his own stunts and stuff like that. So did you do your own stunts, or did you kind of get help with, you know, stunt professional stuntmen? And what are some, you know, what are p- pieces of advice that Tom Cruise himself gave you? Uh, when it came to you know being a part of an action movie. Okay, well, throughout the film, I'd say I did about 70% of my stunts because you know I wanted to tr- definitely try it out for myself. You know, as it is one of my first big action movies, hopefully having more to come in the future, I definitely did want to try it out myself. As and just like Tom Cruise does a lot of his own stunts, so I definitely did want to kind of. I was definitely inspired by him to do the same. And a lot of advice or some pieces of advice that he did give me was that always try your best, you know, as, you know, it could be very little, it could be a very small step for you, but if it's that small step that, you know, helps you to achieve greatness, then definitely take it. Yeah, he's a very wise man, I definitely say. So I know that a lot of the times when people enter, you know, the film industry, um, it's, it's tough for them in the sense that it affects their personal life. So, other than all the successes and achievements that you've gone, gotten from uh, being in a part of uh, many hit films and working with so many legendary actors and actresses, has it in any way drastically, uh, or even you know, just a little bit, affected your personal life? Um, I think one of the biggest things would probably be like my life back at home. Like a lot of my friendships has been, it's been um, kind of tempted with, you know, it's been altered because I don't see them as often as I used to. You know, a couple of years ago, I'd be just at home, I'd be chilling with my friends, but now, you know, my friends could be considered as celebrities. And it's very different for me to um, not like easily ring up an old friend because they don't know what's constantly happening in my life. They don't know what's happening on set all the time. And I think that would be probably one of the biggest takeaways from my personal life, as well as kind of privacy wise. um, You know, there's there's paparazzi everywhere. I go to Starbucks, there's like 10 paparazzis outside my car or outside of my house. So that's definitely something hard to um, deal with. And yeah, I totally get that because, you know, distance is, is usually one of the hardest things to cope with, especially when you're in a relationship, a close relationship with your best friend. It's tough to keep those because when you're away from someone for like a really long time, you know, things tend to kind of slow down between uh, the two of you and yeah you know it gradually goes towards not talking anymore and I kind of understand that because I did go through that same thing but you, you learn to cope with it so it's good that you've done that so you know let's put all this sad stuff aside made me feel like I was a winner and um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that you knowing him so well now you kind of understand you know the feeling because I'm pretty sure it's mutual mm-hmm. um, but yeah I love that you mentioned his name because it takes me back to those days um, but anyways um, good luck first of all no 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 but anyway, okay but anyways
Let me just talk about last year when you won your first Academy Award at the age of 25, which is crazy, almost unheard of. Um, anyways, um, I just wanted to quickly talk about last year. I mean, one of the biggest achievements of your life. You won Academy Award for your role in Crystal Waters. And, I mean, you worked with one of the greatest actors and actresses, Meryl Streep, um, Tom Hanks, and just how, was that intimidating for you to work with uh, people of such class and um, such high standard when it comes to being a part of the film industry for such a long time? I would definitely say that I was very intimidated by working with all of them, you know, from Brad Pitt. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it didn't make sense. I was very, very intimidated. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Well, I'd say I was very intimidated when I was working with them. You know, because they are my role models. You know, I've seen them be on the big screen for years, and to actually be there beside them, working with them every single day, it was. It was a huge deal for me. But you know what? Seeing that, it helped me to realize, you know, this is something I definitely want to do. And this is something I definitely want to aspire to be. And because they are so wise and they gained so, and I, because I gained so much experience and knowledge from them, it just helped me to reassure myself that I wow, want to become better. Wow, beautiful answer. You know what, Victoria? It was great having you on the show. Um, best of luck for your new film, Mission Impossible 6. I'm very excited to watch. I'm definitely coming to the premiere. So save me a seat. Um, anyways, um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Meeting people that that meeting people that are so passionate um, makes me feel like there's still uh, people out there that you know have the drive to constantly work hard and motivate and inspire all you know the young people that are trying to come into the business. And who better to call on than Victoria Wellington? So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something. And you know what? Have a great, great night.